the Echo Slam. Oh, there it is. Forward. There's your slam. There's the dunk. Hello, Gamer Nom is back for another King's Legacy video. Last time I made a video on Do Fruit, one of the legendary fruits, level it up, unlock all powers. Now it is time for us to level up the Dragon Fruit. Yes, we have a level 1 character that has Dragon Fruit. So to start it up, let's do the Chicken Quests. I mean Chicken Quest. Okay, so for the location of quests, the Terrace again, Spawn Point, and the Black Market Building. Just do that and you will automatically reach level 5. Regarding the stats, you will put all your stats in the Power Fruit. All. Gamer Nom, but we will die easily. They will bully us. We really don't care, guys. We don't have bounty this early in the game. And we're not going to do PvP. And when you unlock the Dragon Form, you will have enough HP to grind, okay? So I'm just showing you here the first quest. Don't mind that. You really should focus here on just the chicken quests. Go very easy. Guys, I tried this strategy. I just slug out every time I finish this quest. And every time I join a server, there is a chicken. So try that out. After reaching level 10, time to defeat the clown pirates. Now, if you can see, we're gonna compare it with the doe fruit. Doe fruit is really faster early game. Leveling up early game, doe fruit is really faster. So I suggest you do the chicken quest as well as this level 10 clown pirates quest, okay? Go. How about the Phoenix Fruit Gamer Nom? Uh, we will do another one, part 3 of this series. See that guys? I just reconnected and there is the chicken again. So do that to level up fast. Okay, again, Clown Pirates and Chicken Quest. So after that, you will be reaching level 20 in no time. There you go. Okay, so when you reach level 20, it's now time. To defeat Smokey, again all stats on the power fruit. Level 20 Smokey. At first you need to like uh, two hits. Yeah, you can defeat this with two hits. There you go. Keep doing that until you reach level 30. Okay. Upon reaching level 20, you will be fighting a new boss or a new mob is Tashi, right? That you will certainly get the Tashi Blade here. There you go. Okay, there you go, Tashi Blade. Okay, so you really need to defeat this until you reach level 50. And that's it for the first quest. So next up, get a boat and move on to the Pirate Island. Go. You guys, comparing it again to the Doe Fruit, you really need to grind this one. You can one hit a Clown Pirate with your first skill, but you need to lure them. Because you need to defeat five Clown Pirates, okay? Two sets of spawns, okay? There you go. So do this until you reach level 75. And after that, it is now time to defeat the Clown Pirate. Okay, so guys, listen to this part. You will defeat this until you reach, I think, 120 plus. At first, you need to like use your Hell Bullet tries to defeat this. But when you reach 315 Fruit Power, you can defeat this in two hits, okay, using your Hell Bullet. Okay. Well, things will get faster and once you reach level 120, time to go to the Soldier Island. So guys, if you notice, we've skipped a quest. Here, defeat 6 commanders. Why? Because they are so far apart. We can't lure them. Don't worry, we're level 120. You can start this island by defeating the captain. There you go. So defeat this until you reach 145, right? But there you go, bullies. Don't mind them. We're not here to do PvP. We don't have bounty yet. So yeah. Focus on leveling up. There you go. So when you reach level 125, first you will unlock your second skill, the Disaster Storm. So this skill is AoE, but not it doesn't have a high damage compared to Hell Bullet. So it's good for luring, but it cannot one hit a kill enemies at first. Okay? So there you go. After reaching 145, time to defeat the Axe Hand guy. Guys, uh, mind your range here. This enemy has an AoE. There you go, attack. And we only have uh, like 100 HP yet. So make sure to take care of your character. 
Okay, so defeat this boss while dodging, etc. So if you have friends, then better until you reach 120. I sorry, sorry, 200. Okay, so upon reaching 200, Shark Island Y again, we dodge this quest, defeat five fishermen Y. Because even though you can lure them, why gamer no? Guys, you need to defeat like five fishermen. At the initial spawn, there are only four fishermen, and you need two sets of spawns to finish that quest. And that's kind of long for me, so focus on this one. There we go. You only need to defeat one karate fishman at a time to finish the quest. I suggest you just focus on that. Don't mind the other fishermen. And you need to do that until you reach 230. After reaching 230, you can now start your other quest. There you go. And the shark man so you will have a chance to unlock a sword here the shark blade i think <clears throat> so at first you need to defeat him by uh, using uh three skills right but when you reach level 250 you can now unlock the roar there you go just one combo first second and third so things will be faster from here okay so level up until you reach 300 after reaching 300 time to go to the chef ship Barati, we're gonna start it by defeating Dark Leg. It is easy to defeat, one combo. So do this until you reach 350. Again, guys, we keep on skipping some quests because they are hard to do. Why? Because you need uh, two sets of spawns or they're scattered around. That's why I'm showing you a better or faster way to do it. Just one mob, okay? That's why we're skipping other quests. So when you reach 350, time to defeat the Weapon Man go We're almost done okay so just do this until you reach 375 and after unlocking that time to transform to a dragon if you follow my strategy you will reach 1500 oh wait we have a friend <laughs> oh this is so cool guys cool oh trader what's your name trader <laughs> well anyway Upon unlocking the dragon form, this is the time that you will grind really fast. See this? Only two skills to defeat this. Everything will be faster. So now guys, do this until you reach 450. And after reaching that, go to the next village or island, the snow island. Start the quest here by defeating the king of snow. There you go. Two skills and you're done. Okay? It's so fast. Do this again until you reach 500. Is that fast guys? So when you reach 500, you will be having 2,000 power fruit and an HP of 14k guys. 14k. Now we've unlocked all the skills. Dragon Breath. So I'm gonna show you how strong it is. This mob is level 800, right? Almost one hit guys. Again, we're still level 500. The Rumble Man. It is a. Uh, it can damage you. But guys, see that? You can defeat 850, 900 mobs, bosses, but you're still level 500. So this is kind of strong, and I hope that this guide was able to help you decide on what to do when you get the dragon fruit. So, again, to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I appreciate you all. This is GamerNom, and GamerNom out.